Uh, yeah, they just say, yeah, I say, I say you broke the law. Well, you know, please, uh, you're going to have to affirm that on the stand. Yeah. Uh, good thing down there, I'm, I'm trying I'm, Greg, I'm trying to get everybody away from this common law because it's confusing people. There's a lot of people with common, common hyphen law, which is a legalese term. What I do is I say law that's common to the people of the land. You see what I'm saying? But all you can say is court of record. Court of record just works as well. Because a court of record, everybody knows, magistrate, independent tribunal, jury, wrongdoer, prosecutor, and it's recorded, has a seal. And it only, only moves out of the common law. No statutes. No, no, uh, no statutes, no, uh, it's in my neighborhood. And up in my neighborhood. Just, 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 just try to say, I, I just try to say that I, I want this help. You know, rules in accordance to a court of record. Yeah. You know, you can do that, or you want to say common law, you can say law common to the people. I, I found something on their website. I, I, at the time, like last uh, the other day, I got thrown in the can again. Um, I, I, I don't think I was in the right court, you know, because they, they, they named them slightly different. But uh, I looked at their website, uh, the Attorney General uh, off. Uh, for the province of Ontario and the Superior Court of Justice. It kind of goes on, you know, the court has, uh, has both criminal and civil jurisdiction, which includes family and estate matters. It ha uh, has all the jurisdiction, power, and authority historically exercised by courts of common law and equity in England and Ontario, and not just by statute. Does that, uh, that sound about right? That sounds good. Yeah, that, that's right on their website. So it's telling me that it is, and I have the, it's right there affirmed by them. Yeah, because if you want to, if you want to move, uh, if you see some people swear up and down that equity can only be held by a black moved man, as bull. Equity can be also determined by a jury. But the only problem with that is sometimes the judge tries to tell them, hey, you know, that's not the rules. This is you, you are uh, overseeing your bounds, and I'm going to try to reel you in a little bit. He tries to stick his nose in it. So like I said, that's. That's why I just like using a court of record with a jury is the ultimate decision maker on everything. You can't, no, you see, in our seventh amendment, it just says a matter heard, you know, you know, before a court of record or at a court of record, the United, no United States court can rehear or retry the matter. So, so there you go. A court of record has nothing to do with like the United States. A court of record is the people's court. So no court of the United States. You see, this is where I'm having a problem here. I'm holding a court of record. The United States District Court is also trying to hold a court pertaining to my case. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going Seventh Amendment on you. I'm going Court of Record. The Court of Record is going to hear this matter, and no U.S. court can hear it. So keep your nose out of my Court of Record, United States District Court, because it's right there in your Seventh Amendment. Leave me alone. Just, I require a Court of Record. Yeah. There you go. You know, that, that thing, uh, those who ignore the past are bound to repeat it. And, uh, boy, have we been ignorant of our past. But uh, I was going to say, uh, like, if, if, I, if I require a court of record and reserve the right of trial by jury, uh, uh, I, a, a man, uh, a loyal subject of Her Majesty uh, Elizabeth II, I, I wish this. And uh, go from there. And then, well, just, uh, just, just go I, re just go I, comma, require, colon, Court of record, semicolon, trial by jury, semicolon, whatever else you want. Just keep doing that. Yeah, but I, I, I'm supposed to voice this in, in court. You know, when yeah, yeah, but you said too many words. I forgot what you said, but it's still too many words. Just say, I require. There you go. I, comma, require, colon, court of record, semicolon, and then make your list. Just I require, and then everything else you require, just follow this, you know, after the colon. Just every time you finish another word, do a semicolon.